didn't want this plant because it was all tangly and raggedy. What should I do? You want to keep it for yourself? Yeah. Well, it is pretty grown out. It is looking a little bit on the straggly side. Well, you know, what I would do if I were you is we'll make cuttings out of this. Mm -hmm. And then they'll grow out, and when they've got some roots on them, you can start a whole new plant for yourself. And it can grow big and beautiful. Okay. You want to try that? Yeah. Okay. Well, I think I've got some a little jar down here and some water so we can get started. Okay. So we'll fill up this jar with water. Rooting cuttings in water is really easy. And then you just snip some of it back and stick it in the jar. And we'll take several cuttings, actually, so that you can start a nice big plant as soon as you get some roots on this. Okay. Do you have any other plants at home? Um, well, I don't think so. So this will be your first one? Yeah. Well, this is an aphthitis, is what it's called. And it's a real hardy plant. And it's a really good one to start out with. Okay. So I think you'll like it. We'll finish making some cuttings for you, and that'll do it. Okay. Here is the straggly and ugly plant that Megan described to you that she had on the show back in the summer. Well, what I did with it after the show was over, I decided to cut back the vines all the way to the edge of the pot and let it grow out, and this is the result. As you can see, the nephthitis has grown out really nicely. I'm keeping it now in a fairly low light location, which will keep it from being as full as it could be. If you want to, you can give this some direct sun and it'll be even fuller than this. Although even like it is right now, I think it looks a whole lot better than it did then. And by the way, Megan told me that she took her cuttings home and they rooted really well and her mother potted them up with another plant that she already had at home. So they're doing fine. Now if you're inspired to get an aphthitis, the care on them is to water when they're dry about a half inch down below the soil surface. If you have it in an eight inch pot like this is, and this is pretty standard, and you can go ahead and water it with up to a quart of water. Of course, I recommend fertilizing regularly. Now, if you do have a vining plant, their tendency is to end up getting straggly and ugly. It's just their nature, unless you keep them pruned fairly often. And I recommend cutting your vining plants back about every two months or so.